Today I have a new video, something a little different. We are rebuilding a Ford Aerostar, a classic. The tragedy of this story, hit and run. But no problem, we're gonna fix it. So for this, all we really need is a fender, bumper, the liner is optional. Um, oh, and the corner light. We gotta adjust it, adjust the hood a bit. And hopefully at the end of the video, this car is looking brand new. I'm gonna give it a wash too. I have all my tools ready, my little helper right there. So there's nothing to it, but to do it, I'm gonna start with the fender, next the bumper. And yeah, the, uh, the fender liner is optional. Corner light goes at the end, but I gotta remove the old stuff first. And to pull that, it's gonna be pretty hard. So I'm gonna try to just leave it there. I don't have the tools to pull that. But uh, yeah, hopefully it ends up really well. And I'm gonna give it a nice polish and wash. So there's a strip bolt in there. Uh, I'm gonna just yank off the whole plastic and then hopefully pinch it out. If not with a screwdriver and a hammer. So problem number one has come up. I didn't expect the crash bar to be so dented in that it's not straight at all. And another thing is um, the bolt is super stripped and it's like stuck on there. So I'm gonna just move on to the fender. So far I straightened out all the um, places where it's gonna bolt onto, make sure it's clean. All right, so I got the fender on. I uh, try to keep the gap as clean as I can, but obviously there's damage there. It's open gap. And the hood, it's kind of lifted. The hood is closed, so I'm gonna have to try to adjust that too. But overall, the gap, for right now, it's looking good, but I still need to put the light. But look at that, there's no gap over the, over the door in the fender. It's looking good, but obviously there's a gash right there. But time to put the corner light. So I figured out the problem with the headlight. The reason why it doesn't stay up, I already tightened this little thing. It does help, but right here, there's supposed to be a clip that holds this plastic. I, I have my box of clips. Hopefully there's something in there, but let me show you. There's a clip missing there and um, on this side. On this side, the clip is right there, some white little clip. So a problem I'm having with the headlight is the actual headlight itself. I'm not really sure how to adjust it. I kind of like brought it back forward a bit. Puts a little down right there. And uh, the fender, I'm gonna loosen it up. Hopefully if I push it, the gap right here will fix itself. But I mean, everything else is working. I tried the headlight, it was working good. I mean, the little turn signal. Hopefully I could get that little bolt off and you know, place it. The headlight's still a little off, but I just left it like that because I don't have the clip. But for the meantime, everything's going good. It's just the bumper, I still need to figure out how I'm gonna take off that bolt. The whole hood itself is kind of just lifted in a way. But I don't see any dents on it. That's a weird thing. But um, I'm gonna do this trick, try to bend it down a bit to, to close that gap right there. When I went like that to turn it, too much torque, I guess. The weld in the, in the back of it was weak so it just twisted everything and the whole screw just went like that it broke the whole weld and it was impossible so i said you know what just grab some pliers and back and forth and i finally ripped it out i need a flat in that but i don't think the bumper's gonna go on because this whole thing is dented way too in but i'm gonna see what i could do so i think i figured out a way how to kind of pull it back a bit just enough where I could tighten it right there and right there. Uh, but it is bent really bad, but I'm gonna do some Mickey Mouse work, you know, some imagination. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this in here, pull it back and push down. And it, kinda, it, it pushes this forward. I'm gonna just go along slowly.
I did the best I could to pull this frame out or this impact bar out and uh, it came out so good. Well, better than I thought because I'm doing this all by hand and tools, no, no, no pulling, no chains, no nothing. I don't have any of that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna test fit the bumper. Hopefully everything bolts on. So I finally got the bumper on. It was a pain to pull that frame with my hands. I just didn't put those two screws because if I do, it's gonna make a lot of pressure and these bumpers are very fragile, cheap plastic, they crack. But everything on bolted, that one, and the, the ones that go on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, put some zip ties on there, some quality ones, I have some thick ones at home. Everything came out good. Just give it a nice polish, that way it could blend in the red, because it's so faded. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start polishing it and uh, show you guys the final result. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So I finally finished it. It took me about six hours. Got the fender, headlight, bezel, corner light. Got the bumper, I'm pretty tired. I've never really worked on a Ford Aerostar. These older models, they're so much easier than the newer ones. Um, overall, it came out good. And, um, you know, I'm gonna give it a wash tomorrow, get some of that, buff that out. Overall, it wasn't that bad of a job, just the pulling the whole impact bar of that thing, because uh, it's welded on, so you can't take it off. Other than that, it was pretty, it was pretty easy.